Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Today our video is going to be short just to share some information with those who need it. Um, in Islam we have many 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 uh, stories and all those stories are coming from somewhere. All of Islam actually is coming from somewhere. Muhammad he claimed to be a prophet but yet this prophet is so good in collecting his stories. 95% is a fairy tale stories. And he added to his own religion and he claimed that this is from his God. And the story of the man who is called Al Khadr, which mean in Arabic mean a green. Prophet Green. Al Khadr mean the green. Why he was called the green? And you know, if we understand why, then we will understand what kind of a prophet Muhammad is. So if we go to the hadith and we find out what Muhammad said about this story. We will notice the following. The Prophet Muhammad said, Al Khadr, which means the green, was named so because he sat over a barn, white land, and it turned green with the plantation after his sitting over it. So, according to Muhammad, and this is Muhammad saying, not me, Al Khadr is a person, if you sit in a dry grass, the dry grass will turn into green, which means the dry grass is a dead grass. So the dead grass will come back to life and will become not only a life, it's going to become look like a flourishing green. So where this is coming from? Muhammad is a person who copy many stories from people around him. You can search in the internet, you will find that there is a story, it's called the story of Gilgamesh, one of the legions which is present in the north of Iraq all the way to Persia. Gilgamesh simply is a person who was looking for the fountain of youth or the fountain of life. And he found it in what's called the location, it's called Al Bahrain. And this is exactly mentioned in the Quran, where we will find the story about Musa who was sent by Allah. To meet with green and green obviously is way higher than Moses to the point uh, uh, Allah he told Moses uh, that you know uh, if you want to learn okay well I will let you go and meet and learn from him and Moses when he met him he asked him to follow him so he can learn and here you will see the story which is nothing but a fairy tale story about Moses going all the way to the location it's called the the place where the two seas met the junctions of the two seas and this is exactly what it's called the name of the country today in arabic we call it bahrain 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 is not far away from iran not far away from uh, 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 qatar not far away from saudi arabia actually now they have a bridge between saudi arabia and emirat and sorry and bahrain so this is exactly the name is mentioned in the quran and the story of Al-Bahrain is very ancient story that there was there a fountain of life. Whoever drink from it, he live. He live forever. And there is only one person he was able to able to find this fountain. And his name is Mr. Green. So here you will find the story how Allah he sent Musa and he asked him to take with him a wheel, not a fish, as it says here. In Arabic it says hut. And then when they went to that area, <coughs> uh, uh, Musa, he like, he did not know how to find <coughs> this person, Al Khadr. So Allah told him, Well, when you lose your fish or you lose your wheel, then that's mean the place you will find, uh, you will find the, uh, our servant, Al Khadr, which is a higher than Musa's. So when he went there, uh, you know, uh, uh, simply the story says that the fish came back to life or the whale and uh, because some water uh, uh, you know touched the, the the fish and the fish came back alive and you can read the story this is a chapter 18 and you can read from verse number 61 all the way to the end of the story however if we go we will find more details about this story in Sahih al-Bukhari where the Sahih al-Bukhari make it so clear Where it says, let us see the, 
تحديث All right, here we go. We mentioned this just in the previous video today that we talk about it a little bit, but it doesn't hurt if we talk more so people will learn and take notes. So according to the story here, as we see, there is a fountain, a spring of water fountain, which is no one get in touch with it, even if you touch it, not necessarily to drink it, but you will become alive. And the prophet said that, you know, uh, this uh, this fish, some drop of water fell into it, and then this is how this wheel or fish run away. And this is exactly what happened. So, uh, when the fish run in the water, came back to life after touch the, from the, the water from the fountain of life, the fish run into the water in the, in the sea, in the ocean, and uh, Moses as was able to track the steps of the fish, which is very funny, in the ocean, because the ocean became like a tunnel, like a highway, as you see. So it was like a tunnel. So Allah held back uh, the flow of the water, and it was like a tunnel, and the fish could glid. Moses and his boy was were amazed. They set a rem the, the reminder of the day and the night, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Moses, a companion, forgot to inform him to escape, uh, that escape, the fish escape, blah, 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 blah. So you can read the story. I can post the, the, the link for you about those references down in the video. But as you see, uh, Islam is based in fairy tale stories. Who in the world in the, in the year 2019, he want to believe that there is a prophet, his name is Muhammad, teaching us that his God told him that there is a water, it's called the water of life, and whoever sprinkle water from it at himself, even if he's dead, or somebody has sprinkled at the dead man, he will come back to life immediately. How Muhammad can be a prophet and yet he is telling such a story? How we can accept that Muslims, they speak about science and Quran. How Muslims, they speak to us about amazing stories, which is proven to be scientifically accurate. Yet they believe in such a madness. So either you believe in this and then don't talk about science. This is nothing but a fairy tale stories. And we can find actually the roots of the story, as we said, in the ancient stories of Gilgamesh and other people, not only Gilgamesh. Actually, there's many nations, they share the same roots of the story. And this story continue with us until now to the point we have the movie it's called uh, the pirate of the caribbean speaking about the fountain of youth this is nothing new this is something very old very ancient nations carried through nations and then muhammad he took it he put it in his book and he claimed that this is coming from his god and this is a story provided for him and only for him nobody knows about it except him muhammad but if we go in the Quran, we will find that the Arab, they were making fun of the Quran and Muhammad's story, saying to him openly and with no shyness that this is nothing but a fairy tales of the ancient, and we heard those stories before you. So while Muhammad is claiming that he is the one who come with those stories, the Arab, they were making fun of him, he says, this is nothing but the fairy tales of the ancients. We heard those before you. All right, and as you see, there's many verses in the Quran saying that not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. Many verses saying the Arabs saying to Muhammad, This is nothing but the tales of the ancient, and even we heard that before you, you know, from uh, uh from, from from generation before you. So try something better if you go to chapter 23, verse number 83, it says exactly what I said to you, we heard. Our father, we heard this from our fathers before, like before us. Those stories are old. Those are nothing but the tales of the ancient. So Muhammad is a person who is trying to build a religion. He built his religion based on the fairy tales of the ancient. And yet he claimed that this is coming from God. Now, if you are a Muslim, more than, you are more than welcome to leave your comment and tell me how you really believe in such a, such a story. To be coming from God and yet Muhammad 
not only adding it in the hadith but Muhammad he adding the story in the Quran as we showed you in chapter 18 this is cannot be from God this is cannot be from a prophet this is cannot be from anyone actually have little intelligence this is can be only from someone is an ignorant he have no idea what he's talking about and he think that those stories can fool others and as you see those stories did not even go through the Arab the Bedouin who they are naive most of them are not educated even those who they are not educated they say to Muhammad those stories we heard it from our fathers before you and this is nothing but the tales of the ancient so how we can believe in Muhammad to be a prophet this is why today I wanted to make this a short video so it's going to be easy for you to carry around and show to your friends and if you are a Muslim believe really that there's a fountain of youth a flying carpet uh, the birds or the ants who warn the ants the hood who find water if you find all these stories are true stories please leave your comment and tell us why thank you for being us with us and uh, feel free to download the video and share it with your friends and they will see you again with a new video and I will try to make videos to post it in, in all the other accounts I have so uh, but the broadcast will be in the one we are using right now so thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and and I will see you again Christ is Lord and Islam is nothing but a collection of fairy tale stories thank you and God bless